So I arranged our forces a little bit off camera um, and I it seems as if I have made a mistake. Uh, splitting up our troops was not a good idea. This one, 1,600 men, these, these guys are going to get caught and destroyed by these uh, by this big Koric army. So that's a little bit of a shame, but yeah, that you know, I, I didn't know. Um, at least we have a smaller army sieging here. Hopefully they're going to be successful and uh, maybe whatever is left of this army could help them out. Although I think they're going to get utterly destroyed. It, it looks like they're just going to get destroyed. Anyways, they are fleeing to Koho. That's fine. We can send the remnants uh, to support these guys here. That's that's good. Uh, I don't know what he's going to do now. Um, but we certainly need a new master of ships. I guess we'll... Yeah, Lady Dora of Dagger Lake. I think that's actually... That would actually fit quite well. Having her as master ships. I actually had my sister. Not only as High Almana, But also as designated regent for a long time. But she... As I said, she constantly went into hiding. So she wasn't very re reliable uh, as a member of the uh, council. So... Yeah, that's too bad. Anyway, um, the the enemy is sieging. That's fine. We basically just need to make sure that we siege Kohor, we sack it, and uh, then we need to we need to have a big battle, a and, and then I guess we win. That's it. All right. My nephew Damien has a son, Tristane. Um, okay, I think Tristane is a pretty good name, um, and we'll give you the struggle focus. We need some better fighters again. I think uh, that would be useful. Anyway, you, uh, let's, let's mark you, and we'll, we'll send you right over here. Yeah, don't, don't, don't take it, ah, uh, we took a trash, and of course we did. Ah, that's too bad. Now, what I need to do, the problem is I cannot split up this army, that would be so cool, because we had, we could have 6,000 men just besieging this casually, and then, you know, have the rest of our armies doing something else, but oh well. Um, we could imprison our house or guard. Okay, you know what? Just end your plot. Thank you very much. That is good enough. And yeah, we can adopt a matrilineal lineage. There is no point in doing that, which is too old. We didn't have any more kids anyways, so that's fine. I would like you to stop trying to kill my family members. Yeah, thank you very much. Yes, and you, could you stop that plot? You would not. Investigating some of my I think you're investigating this guy's legitimacy. Oh well. It's not a big deal. He's not my heir yet, so I'm I'm not too concerned. Whatever these guys have got going on. Our family is now so ex extended, I can't, you know, keep keep up with everyone. And come on, can you stop these plots though? That would be nice. Don't want to imprison my heir. That'd be kind of terrible. So, Dagger Lake is gonna fall, and I guess my sister's gonna get captured. It's possible. They actually have a lot to defend us. Wow, I'm surprised. I mean, yeah, it's actually not that many. It's actually not that many men. But co compared to, if we have a look at this, Dagger Lake is the largest Sosi fort. They actually have a pretty big garrison in comparison to uh, the Palace of Love. Since this is such a such a bigger castle, you would have expect to have a lot more uh, men in the garrison here. But anyway, uh, okay, so we've lost quite a lot of men to attrition already. I just don't feel comfortable assaulting. Um, so yeah, what is going on here? Okay, it's the Martels declaring their war for dawn on the monster of House Jordan. Well, we shall see how it goes for them. And um, we have finished the siege pretty good. Can we siege some more stuff? We can indeed. All right, let's go there and besiege some more provinces. And once Koho falls, it's going to be good for us. Dagger Lake falling is not too good. We just need one battle. Once Koa falls, we need one battle. And one battle only. A and then th we got this under control. Yeah. Oh, and they just wrote... Who, who are you? Well, certainly someone I cannot really deal with right now. You're going to arrive on the 5th, 29th of July. Right, well, we're going to get... We're going to make it out in time. It's just that we're probably going to take a little bit of attrition here. Pretty sure. No, we do not. Well, that's good then. That certainly is good. And who who are you exactly? He is just raising men. He has no reason to do that. It could be because of raiders. Maybe. That's that's actually that could be why. All right. Well, maybe I don't have to fight his troops then. Um. So these twelve thousand. 
I guess we'll try and destroy these 8,000 men. And you, well, we'll have here. Well, we'll have to wait. Let's see, the deep forest, we can siege that down. So let's go to the deep forest and we'll try and get these 8,000 men killed. Actually, she wants peace. You surrender? Oh, wow. Actually, oh, cohort is worth 72%. I didn't even notice that. Okay, well, you know what? Um, actually, well, no. Here's the thing. Here is the thing. If I take this, if we accept this, I believe I only get all occupied territory. I think I should at least siege down these provinces. No, you know what? I'm actually going to decline because I want to have some more provinces under direct control. So this is not that good. All right, here, yeah, we have to repay the loan. Uh, that's fine. We took that loan from a vassal some time ago. Um, no, I'm actually going to try and destroy, go, go for full destruction because every province we siege, we will actually get uh, to keep. So I think this this would make a lot of sense. All right, so we're coming. Uh, she did take Dagger Lake, 15th of October. Yes, okay, so we're gonna catch his army, or her army, uh, rather. That's good. And then, um, okay, our court physician has died. That's that's okay. We need a new one. Uh, let's pick this guy, All right? Uh, and yeah, make an important character for now. Let's uh, let's just not distract me. I need. I need to know what's going on. 15th of October, 20th. Okay, we caught him. Yes. Awesome. That's really nice. So that should give us enough war score. We'll unsiege Dagger Lake. I believe. Yes. Let's quickly unsiege these provinces. And now I think. How many men do you have here? Yeah. We could probably just quick siege it all. Alright. I think we'll do it. And, all right, we would have this. Un all right, yeah, we'll siege these provinces real quick. I hope we can do this too. I wish I could split up my personal forces. We just need to keep our money. Uh, you know, we, we need to have an eye on our money. That's all that matters. We'll obviously have to make sure that this guy does not regain too many forces. Okay, let's immediately attack. Yes, four more days. There we are, come on, let's take it all over. And one more. Good. And we'll take the Roin Val Vale as Roin Vale. Ah, okay. Yeah, we'll take that as well. I think we'll take Sungrove too. And that's actually... Well, this we can't take. This is a bit big. But this one we certainly can. Storm. Just need to make sure that we make our way back here fast enough. 4,000 men. I have the feeling they want to take Kohor. Hmm. Should I accept now? Well, this is going to be a bit more difficult to siege anyways. Alright, you know what? I don't want to be too greedy. I'm often... Often in these wars, I'm too greedy. But I think we should we should stick to a Craven Ruler. We should not mess this up. With 100%, she will definitely accept. Alright, that's fine. We'll, we'll just go with this. Too often in this series especially, I've messed up by being too greedy. Let's let's just do this. Let's Let's get this. Alright, because cause that's worth a lot already. Wow, look at this. We doubled in size. And a lot of promises we actually have on our control. So, let, let's see. We have all of these holdings. Oh, sweet. Sweet, sweet, sweet. That was what I had in mind. So, yeah. And we also took this over. So, yeah. If we had... Had we sieged this, we would have taken that as well. Um, but, okay. We did not take this. But we, we did take everything here. Alright, so let's have a, have a quick look. This is the High Lordship of Kohor. Well, that's actually pretty perfect. That is actually perfect. Let's see, can I revoke your title? Um, I could, but not without pissing off people. Can I imprison you? Yes, but also not without... Alright, well, I will spy on you. And I will uh, plot to fabricate treason. Actually, let's see what kind of plots we have. Is there anything more interesting? Revoke the city of Goatwood. Where is Goatwood? That I would like to know. That's here. Uh, sure. I mean, if we can... Yeah, why not? Yeah, let's go for it. Let's see who would join us. Uh, our nephew. Yes, thank you. And our sister. Perfect. And I guess our half-brother, too. So... Our family is just so, so huge. 
And there's a few more people we could bribe, but I'm actually not too interested in that. I think what I will do, however, is send our spy master, yep, my husband, and you can build a spy network here. Yeah, I think that's good. And I guess I'm a husband. I guess I could give some land to my husband, some lands. But these I would like to keep. The temple, I will create a new vassal. Let me see. Okay, she's Roina. That's perfect. We should also have Golden Bridge under control. Let's create a new vassal here. And we'll give you... Well, I can't give that to you just yet. Alright. Well, I guess what we should do is stand down our troops. Uh, just so we save money. And here, I would like to create a new vassal for sure. We'll do the same here. Temple and the cities. Now, the cities, I probably have to give out as well. Yeah. Well, I could give my daughter some lands. Yeah, let's do that. We will give you the city of the Smith's Port. Have my daughter control of... Yeah. Give my daughter the city of the Smith's Port. That's fine. Then we'll have... We'll give my husband control of the city of Norsalis, which is actually over here. Yeah, that's fine. That could be my husband. There we are. Awesome. Because these cities are quite wealth... Uh, yeah, quite wealthy. Um, so I would like to keep the money in the family if possible. And then who else have we got? Any more... Mm, sons? So many family members. What about my niece? Well, I guess I want to keep you around. You're the heir to Dagger Lake. You are heir to nothing. Right, how about Ariane Greenblood? I would like you to have the city of Coin. Yes. And then we have the city of Kohor still. And the city of Korvaros. Alright, so... Hmm... You are married to... You're already married. Oh, right. Yeah, I don't want to give lands to you. Uh, but Alar, you're actually doing... You're actually looking pretty decent. He's a he's a nice guy. Yeah, I want him as my... I want him at my court, actually. He's a pretty good commander. So I'll give you the city of... Uh, Quavros. Yes. And you can marry. Oh my god, this is going to be so good. We're going to be making so much money. We'll still have too many castles. I have one, the city still, two castles, one, I'm thinking about maybe giving out this, this is a small castle, this is a small fort, alright, and this, small castle, small castle, but here a lot of things have been built, and the logging camps are especially good, for hunting stations, Mmm, they actually make a lot of money. I, I, I think I'm going to hold on to these in Kohor. Yes. Okay, so who else do we have that I want to give lands to? Do we have anyone here? Maybe my master of coin. I will give you some land. Well, you're not even noble. Huh. City of Kohor. I cannot hold the city. That needs to be given out. Well. Well. Well, well, well. You. You are five years old. I think we're running out of family members. Well, in that case, what about Serenay? You're not in my court. And you don't want to join. I don't think this guy wants to join either. No. Well, so no Raven Shield. Except. Hmm. My Captain of the Household Guard. Alright, yeah, we'll give you... We'll give you that title. We'll give you the... Hmm... We'll give you the city of... No, not the Lordship. The city of Kohor. There you can be making a lot of money for your family. Yeah, that's perfect. You already have quite a lot of money, actually. For being unlanded. That's, that's pretty decent. We still have three too many castles. Oh my god. I don't want to give them out. I want to keep them all myself. I want to keep them all myself. Well, I guess we'll just move forward and see what, what kind of things happen, because, yeah, I just want to see what happens, how much more money we're going to be making. 
And, okay, people are back in our plot. Awesome. And, Kohoric, new great house, has risen. So, this lady is imprisoned. Oh, interesting. I wonder if I can revoke her title. I could. Ah, uh, I see. What does she hold? She has that lordship over there. Ah, okay. Well, how about I ransom you for 145 gold? Yes, totally. And what do you want? You want to be legitimized. Alright, I will grant your request. Yes, of course. So you're now of the Greenblood family. And so is your son. Perfect. But you just have a city. Alright, that's fine. Need a new spy master. I guess my husband. Yeah, you will resume your position. And I want you to go to Goatwood. As you were previously. Wow, a lot of things to do. A lot of administration. But it's kind of necessary. Look how nice we... Look how nice we look. Amazing. So all of the de jure lands of the Roina, are, except for this one province, are under control. And this one province should get... We should get this from Mir. Yes, we can even declare an emancipation, but no liberation. Can we declare liberation on you? Those... those this Casus Belli is really nice. Volantis... Yeah, definitely need to go after Volantis, but... That was just such a great opportunity, I could not resist. Um... Alright, so, we've got, yes, people back in our plot, that's perfect, that's very nice indeed, and you were supposed to ransom yourself, you have accepted, awesome, now you have no money, you hate me, but it doesn't matter, you're still making a decent amount of money because you still have the uh, merchant republic, that's okay though, um, and we will... Make something up. We'll make some stuff up about this guy because that will allow us to imprison him. At least I, th I actually know it doesn't, but it will help us with our plots, anyways. Okay, we need a new master of hunt. I will uh, appoint my nephew. Sure, why not? We are all about our family. You can probably tell. And as commander, I'll pick yes, Allah. That was the whole point. I gave him land so that he could be our commander. And I guess we could maybe kick out this guy because we have some better commanders available now. And Mora, you'll be replaced with my husband. Perfect. And actually, this guy is also quite bad. Hmm. Well, I guess you'll stay. Yeah, that's fine. You will stay. Good. We need a new captain of the household guard, apparently. Uh, so I guess I'll pick my my family member, yes. And his wife will be another bodyguard. Awesome. Wow, that was an entire episode. We just took this and then administered the realm. Um, yeah. Now, that was that. I think one last thing I would like to show you in this episode is actually go over the Lord Paramounts of the various regions in Westeros because that is actually something I wanted to talk about in the last episode but I kind of forgot. So in Dawn we have the Jordanes but it seems as if... if are they losing? Uh, no, they're actually winning against the Martells. So we'll see how it goes. We'll see how it goes for them. Um, but they're still holding on. We have the uh, Toins ruling over the Stormlands but Storm's End is still held by Baratheons. Uh, an idiot, but still. We have the Reach in the hands of the Florence, and I'm not sure if the uh, if the Tyrells hold anything else. Probably not. We have the Westlands still under control of the Lannisters, and the Tullys are in control of the Riverlands. The Iron Islands are held by a Greyjoy, who is a drowned man. That's good for him. We have the Arons ruling the Vale. Uh, of course, we have a Baratheon as king. And the Targaryen, his Targaryen queen, and the Targaryens here in Sharp Point, which is good for them. Who holds Dragonstone, by the way? Oh, the Baratheon king. All right, good for him. And in the north, we have the Flints. At least we did. I'm not sure where the, the north has that capital, but we had Flints here. It's still a Flint. What? what? Oh, he's in Widow's Watch. Oh, over there. Okay, that's an interesting capital. And he has the Broken Branch as his High Lordship. Huh. Well, anyways, that's something I just wanted to show off. And the situation in Essos is looking much better. Because the two biggest realms, the Roina and Bravas, are both non-slaver cultures. Or non 
yeah, non-slaver cultures, non-slaver nations. So slavery is retreating, um, and uh, we're gonna make a uh, pounce on Volantis as soon as we can. The first daughter of Valyria is gonna get destroyed, and then we'll make our way to destroy Westeros. But, uh, you know, this was really nice. I actually enjoyed that. We still have to give out a few titles, but I might do that off camera because it is quite a, quite a hassle. Anyways, that was it. Uh, all I wanted to show you in this episode. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you have enjoyed, and I'll see you guys next time.